Hi friends, welcome back into my craft room. It's my kitchen table today. And I thought I might craft along with you. I need to embellish and decorate this um, botanical junk journal. I, I attached the signatures, as you can see. They are all in their places and there are three signatures. Uh, each one of them has a lace on the edge. This is the second and this is the third. I have been using up a whole um, Idranger magazine. Uh, it was a vintage one from the 70s and I have added some uh, coffee dyed papers and other specialty papers. I have made some pockets and I also um, am trying to embellish uh, some of the pages because they are plain. As you can see, um, this is something that I really wanted to add. It is um, a watercolor, a reproduction of a watercolor that I made in uh, February um, uh, 2021. And I think it's nice because it's dried hydrangeas. Uh, so I have been experimenting with some things like doily. I've never used doily before. And then I have here, there is a um, journaling card and where this is the person who uh, brought hydrangeas here in Europe. And this is a little bit of his story. I thought it might be interesting for you. <clears throat> here are some book pages that I have printed on. And here is um, just a regular graph paper on which I have printed on. This is meant to be a tag, but I don't think it works because it's going to fold. Then what else? A beautiful central page. Uh, this is also printed out in beautiful colors. And more coffee dyed papers. I think it's quite interesting. This is how to cut, how you should cut hydrangeas. Some ledger paper. Uh, this is a pocket. Let me show you. This is a pocket. This is the second signature with another pocket. Um, then this is a flip out. I want to do something with this flip out. Maybe just uh, attach here something with a paper clip. And here there's a um, tab just for interest, some tags. more blank papers to write on. Maybe I could do something with these papers, but I don't have stamps or stencils, so I will have to find a way. Sorry, you will see my dog. She wants to stay with me all the time. Um, this is a funny pocket that I made. You can stick, there are three openings to this pocket. Uh, this is a coffee filter 
and it's quite a specialty here because we don't use these filters uh, because we make espresso with a coffee machine so I thought it might be fun to use this so I have decorated just a little bit of these pages but I need to do more things on this book uh, this is a beautiful long pocket and it's going I'm going to list this journal in my Etsy this is a belly band but uh, I don't know when I'm going to finish it I hope soon and um, yeah this week I've been in bed for a few days uh, because I've been through the emergency uh, for kidney stones so now I am uh, I think you can feel my <laughs> breathing that is quite short and I am not feeling very very well unfortunately but I'm trying to do something okay let me see I had prepared these little booklets and I want to stick here uh, inside the book and just one second friends bear with me <coughs> this is a big one And I've been watching a few videos these days because you know when you don't feel okay you can't do anything more than watching videos <laughs> and I needed to do something so this morning I came here into my kitchen and tried to and try to do something okay so let's see what we can do here so I was thinking of um, using this uh, this thing. Uh, okay, I want to tie a thread here. So I I am quite out of my um, I am quite out of my color scheme with this journal, but you know how sometimes it happens that you you have your own style right so i know that i am quite vintage and botanical but the colors i don't know sometimes you feel like you want a lighter color or happier color so that's what I did here. I usually don't go with um, pink. Absolutely no. But to my surprise, to my surprise, this came out pink. Okay, so I think this is okay and it's working yes so i will stick some i don't know maybe just little labels maybe i i have to put something here i'm not too sure okay i think it's working this is a way that I like to use up all my scraps, all the scraps that I have. I have some um, little labels here that I could use to embellish some of the pages because there are too many blank pages. So maybe I could just stick some labels somewhere just to make it um, a little bit more interesting okay 
Okay. I'm sorry for the lighting, but it's quite cloudy today. And I haven't switched the light on yet. I could just add some tabs for no special purpose, just to have something. Because as I told you, I don't have any stencils or um, or stamps I don't because I don't want to I cannot really buy um, supplies so I try to use what I have and sometimes it's okay to use what you have because, well, it's, of course, it's simple uh, because when you use all the fancy tools, things look very, very nice. But, well, that's my style anyway. So when I find little, um, little images like this one, I like to cut them and use them just to repair like you see me doing here I am repairing a tear yes it serves the purpose of repairing the tear and also uh, it gives interest and color to the page <coughs> And yeah, my tool basically are ruler, corner punch, that is my sister's, this one, then of course I have scissors, this is my dauber, <laughs> this is my handmade dauber, and what else? I do have a, a punch for, to make the hole. My dog Olivia, she's hearing some other dogs outside barking, so she needs to moan. <laughs> she's been so nice these days that I wasn't feeling well at all, and I've been in bed for quite a while. She has stayed with me <clears throat> all the time. <laughs> Okay, what else? I need to think about something here. I don't really like this white paper. And I prefer maybe to use some, some uh, writing. Sorry. Let's do this. I'm going to use this glue. So, I should practice collaging because I feel like I really need to do that. I tried, I'm, I'm going to show you something that I did, but I'm not very satisfied with it. Okay, that's better.
I need to stand. Okay, so this is going to be a pocket. I'm sure you are, almost all of you, are making um, Halloween journals or even Christmas journals. I really, I really cannot do it. I don't know why, but it's very difficult for me to make a um, season journal. I've been trying many times, but no, no. It's very, very difficult. I don't know, but I just craft with the things that I like to craft with. Okay. I have to wait until it dries, but we do have a pocket here. Then let me see what can we add here. Oh, this is where I would like to practice collage. I have here a whole folder of things. So many magazines from which I can take things. Oh. Look at here, I could use this envelope. Yes, I could do it. So, pocket here, here, and a flip. This was another idea. And then I want more tabs. And then I need to take a rest because I don't feel very good at all. Okay. I feel it's coming along very nicely, don't you? And of course, it's something that I feel like I want to do. It's not a seasonal journal, of course, but it's something that I, I feel like doing. I love botanicals and this is what I'm, I want to do always I have to look for other tabs here because I have no more tabs fold it and just use it as a tab. I could ink around it. Yes, I would love to ink around it. Let me find the ink. <coughs> and my dober, I'm using uh, vintage photo okay I think it's perfect Please let me know in the comments if you are more like a seasonal journaler 
or if you do just what comes to your mind. I would really like to know if I am the only one uh, that cannot stick to a theme or if it's not just me. And thank you for keeping me company today in these days where I'm not feeling very well. Bye.